This is a funny one. Um, it, you know, uh, earlier, I think it was again yesterday, maybe the day before yesterday, sometime this week, Apple came out with a new ad for the iPad. I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, it's basically a, a, an ad. It basically has this pile of musical equipment, um, of sculptures, of drawing, a, bit, a guitar, uh, a trumpet, a, a, just a bunch of a, a gramophone, records, all this other stuff, right? And um, they, they're all piled up. And then this, this thing comes down and crushes them all, just eviscerates all. You see them all being disintegrated and crushing. And when it rises up, what remains there, right, what remains there is a, um, is an I, and you, the new iPad Pro. An idea, of course, is that, um, that the iPad replaces your musical instruments, it replaces your gramophone, it replaces sculpture. You can do all that art and music and everything else you can actually do on an iPad. So there's an aspect of it that's kind of clever, <laughs> but there's also, and, and, and particularly artists, there's a real cringe element to this. And that is, you know, having to watch the destruction of all these beautiful things. That is, it's not an issue. It's not an issue of just uh, of replacing, right? Uh, the fact is that you cannot replace sculpture and painting with an iPad. You cannot replace a trumpet with an iPad. A trumpet allows you to do stuff with that with a trumpet that is interesting and fascinating. Right? But you cannot replace it. And kind of the relishing the destruction of all this stuff. There's something wrong. It doesn't strike me as the kind of advertising that Steve Jobs would have approved. It's dramatic. It's got that Apple flair for the drama. But it's just way too nihilistic. And, um, you know, not only is it, is it, uh, uh, it, it's nihilistic and it's just not right. Not appropriate, not right, um, and um, kind of sad. Kind of sad that Apple would stoop to something like that. Uh, something like that. It's it's. Uh, you can, I, I think Apple in the past would have said, "Yeah, look what we we're taking the trumpet sound. Look what you can do with it with the iPad, and and look at all the music you can listen to." But this isn't about destroying. I mean, there is an aspect here of what's it called? Creative destruction. Schubert's term for, for uh, capitalism as, as, as creative, creative destruction, as the process of progress when new technology replaces the old, and there's an aspect of that to it. But in this case, because the technology that's old is aesthetic and still has immense value in and of itself, and cannot really be replaced. It's not like the automobile replacing the buggy. Uh, I, I think it was in bad taste and uh, should have never been done. Uh, you, you, you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of um, people complaining about it at the end of the day. They might not all have the right motives. I don't necessarily agree with their right motives, but um, I think they're right to complain. I think they're right to complain.